going on everybody Mike the Mo Man here just finished up making a new wiring harness that will run a uh, western unimount plow it, it would also run um, I know my older ultra mount it'd run that as well I would have to change over the plug on that however because it has a three plug system right now as to where the unimount has the two plug but they both have a six pin controller so they'll both work the same so let's turn around and show you what we got so here's the harness i've got the factory um nine pin it, this harness does not have lights but right here are your wires to hook into your lights so you can put it on a toggle switch you got I'm, i can't remember the colors offhand but i know you got uh low beam high beam left turn right turn and running lights so and then on the other end you got your six pin that goes inside the cab so follow that down right here this wire will go to the um a hop when the truck's on my particular truck has the fuse box outside under the hood so i made it a little longer if you had it inside you'd take and put it up in here somewhere so you follow it around it splits off i've got the right here is the ground that will hook to my solenoid here is the activation wire that hooks the solenoid and then i add in an extra ground It'll go straight over the battery. So that's eliminating any possible ground issues. So let's get it hooked up. We'll see what we got. Okay, so we're back. We got everything wired up. There's that. Comes through. Once again, there's my... These are my light wires. I have not wired in lights yet. I'm going to. But this... It'll be a separate harness. Comes in. Got my solenoid over here. Yellow is my... Um, one sending signal black is a ground so i also have a second black comes over grounds out here's my red wire i did not run it to the fuse box yet it is for tapping purpose testing purposes took it straight to the battery which my other trucks actually that way it has been for the last two years so i run it under come in a hole that I've got right there comes down and through got the controller hook up so let's power it on we got power now we're gonna go up left right down and it also went into float so everything's working like it should so there we go everything's working i know you see a lot of guys looking for parts for these old the older plows you know wiring being one of them if anybody's needing a harness i'm i mean i can always make one that's if you're looking for one let me know there's a guy not too far from me that does something similar but all he does is run the um the um so he'll have the wires coming from the controller he'll have everything but he will not have these um the extra wires to hook up your lights to a toggle switch or however you want to do it and he does not use the factory western plug he changes that out which to me this is a lot better option because I can, you know, this truck can now hook to another plow just like that. With with the other style, you have to have change out the um, plow side plug too. So it's just that plow you can hook to, unless you, you know, rewire every plow or then you got to switch other trucks if you want to be interchangeable. So this makes it a lot more convenient. But anyways, don't forget to like and subscribe. We'll catch y'all later.